How's it going, everybody? I thought I would do a real quick uh, cancer update. Haven't done one in a while. I don't know, as I said last time, don't know if anybody's even interested. Uh, but I have had some people ask me what's going on, so I thought I'd let you know. Apologize for the planes and the jets. I'm out here uh, by DFW Airport. I'm actually in the parking lot of a warehouse. And this, this parking lot where I'm standing at right now used to be where the, I mean, at least somewhere right in here within 20, 30 yards either way. I don't know exactly where, but used to be where the bunkhouse was at for the pasture where I pastured my horse when I was a kid. I had a, I had a horse named Little Bit, Little Palomina Mare. She was a little tiny thing, but boy, she was, she was feisty and uh, she was nimble and quick and uh, she kept up with the big boys all the time. She was, uh, I could ride her all day long. I don't think I ever wore her out. She was tough. Uh, anyway, I moved her from South Grand Prairie, a uh, little, little lot behind a house off of Sandra Lane and I moved her out here you know, on uh, March 6, 1976. And uh, I just always remember that date and that, that, that day it was a big day. And uh, I had a lot of fun anyway, right here in this area. It makes me mighty sad to come out here now and, and see uh, all these buildings and all this concrete here because this used to be just a wide open space. And I had a lot of fun. <laughs> You know, I was 16, 17 years old, all the way till I was 18 or 19. I had this horse out here and had access to a dozen other horses and uh, just just had a wonderful, wonderful time. This place was really, really magical. <laughs> and I mean that with all my heart. But anyway, so here's the deal with my cancer. Let that jet get overhead. But uh, here's the deal. I had a CT scan done on Monday. So uh, I have not got the results yet back. Once I get the results back, I'll decide whether or not to do you know, any of the conventional treatments. I've already ruled chemo out. I am, I'm just not gonna do chemo. And, uh, or at least at this point, you know, I always say that. And I did not want to do the pass-through radiation, the traditional type of radiation. And I think by the praise of God, uh, you know, by the blessings of God, rather, uh, I was approved to do proton radiation, which is different and it's not quite as evasive, not quite as, uh, you know, hard on your body. So I was approved for that. Anyway, if the, when I get the results of the CT scan back, if the, if the, tumor is growing then obviously I got I got to do the proton radiation if it's the same or just barely regressing I have to make a decision because you know I don't want to do any of the conventional treatment I want to beat this without doing the conventional treatment and by the way I want to make sure I say this man God has given me a piece about this and I'm so thankful for that I am going to beat this cancer. I'm not even really concerned about that. Uh, I mean, I'm human. I think about that. I wonder about that. But in general, I'm not worried about that because I believe with all my heart that uh, I will, with the help of God, defeat this cancer issue. I just believe that. Uh, they caught it in the early stages. It's, uh, you know, everything is right all the uh, everything's in line for me to defeat it anyway uh, especially if i did the chemo and radiation but i'm only going to do the radiation so that reduces my odds according to the uh the professionals that reduces my odds but i'm not worried about that i don't worry about them i believe with all my heart that this is a done deal i will in fact defeat this cancer because god is going to allow that to happen that's what i believe so uh Anyway, uh, I get the results back, I hope Monday or Tuesday, I'll find out whether it's growing or not. The reason I said earlier that I have to make a decision is because, you know, frankly, because of money. We've already met our out-of-pocket expenses. 
So if I decide to do this proton radiation starting on October the 30th, I would be through by the end of the year. And, uh, you know, I know there will be follow-up uh, appointments and such like that, but the, the, it's the treatments I want to try to contain within this phys this year because, or this calendar year, because I don't want to start those, you know, that, those out-of-pocket expenses. And just one proton radiation treatment, I would, I would be out of pocket a lot of money. So, you know, I hate to think about it in terms of money, but I just got to think about that. And also, uh, I'm gambling big. I have now put this off for close to 90 days. And, uh, you know, that's a gamble. That's a gamble with my life. And I was telling Tracy this morning that if it was just me, it would be easy to make that decision. I wish I had to come here to do this. <laughs> Uh, if it was just me, I think it would be easy to make the decision to just try to defeat this uh, on faith and finbendazole. And uh, I believe I would do. I believe that I would defeat the cancer with God's help. Uh, I think God would allow me to defeat the cancer with that alone. But it's a gamble, and uh, you know I'm gambling. I, I can't just think about myself when I'm making this gamble. I have children. I have uh, grandchildren. I have a wonderful wife. And uh, by the way, I have a wonderful life and I want to live this life as long as possible, as long as I'm healthy. And uh, so I have to think about that as well. Uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I don't make a lot of money, but I do provide for my family. And uh, I'm not no big, you know, Johnny badass guy, but I am, I, I am a, a provider and a protector for my family and uh, I don't want to leave them I don't you know simple as that I am 100% okay with going to heaven because I believe no doubt about it that's where I'm going but I don't I'm, I'm like anybody else I guess we all want to die and we all want to go to heaven but nobody wants to die right but well, I'm the same way uh, if, if God should, should choose to take me home today then so be it I'm okay with that, but I, but I do want to stay uh, here in this world to be that provider and protector for my family. That I, I mean, I still have. I'm 62. I still have, you know, another 10 years left in me to to be that provider and that protector easily. And uh, you know, I can still live you know, another 10, 15, 20 years after that, and still be somewhat productive although I've never been real productive in my entire life but I you know I I, I, I do provide some productivity value <laughs> so you know I guess the main thing that I would want to say to anybody who cares about this is that you know I really am okay I am okay I don't want to die but I'm okay with dying I've always been okay with that. I've never feared death. It's never been something that has played on my mind. I, I have thought about it, of course. I have wondered about it. I go to a funeral, I wonder about it then, you know, of course. I'm no different than anybody else, you know, but, uh, or at least in that regards. But I am different, I think, in a lot of ways to, to a lot of people because I'm a, I, I have made my mind up that cancer will not kill me as a matter of fact i told my preacher that i said i don't see any scenario where this will kill me and he very gently said uh you know you're a strong guy you're a very positive guy those are good accolades to have but he said gary remember we're all gonna die of something and i said yes sir that's true but this cancer ain't gonna kill me and that's the way i feel that's the way i look at it so that's the most important thing if anybody is worried or caring about me, prayers are certainly uh, appreciative. I mean, I'm appreciative of those prayers. And, uh, you know, I continue to ask for prayers. And, uh, you know, I believe that uh, with God's help and with your prayers, uh, it's a done deal. I, whether or not I do the proton radiation, all that's still up in the air. 
I hope to be making another video very shortly to let everyone know, you know, what I'm going to be doing. But anyway, that's where I stand right now. All is good. No pain, no sickness. Uh, I'm not on any medication. I'm taking the supplements and those kind of things. But, uh, you know, nothing has really changed for me except for one thing. And it's a pretty major thing. I, I feel fatigue a lot. And I don't know what's causing that. I don't even know. But uh, it could be mental. It could be just, you know, just straight. Because I am stressed, obviously, a little. You know, I worry about it some. So, uh I'm not used to that. I'm not someone who stresses and worries a lot. I've never been that way. So I, I have worried and stressed more about this than any issue in my life. And uh, so, you know, it could just be mental fatigue and that's it. So I don't know, but that's the only thing that uh, I, if I, if you ask me what's wrong, what's happening, what's, you know, what, what kind of problems are you having? That's really, that's really it. And uh, the other things like swallowing, uh, uh, doing the hacking, you know, coughing and hacking, those things have kind of gone away. So, uh, you know, you know, praise God. And, uh, I'm eating better. Uh, I, I'm eating healthy, as healthy as I can. Uh, I've quit drinking, uh, with a minor slip, <laughs> but outside of that, I've, uh, I, I haven't drank in, you know, I don't know, a month or six weeks, something like that. And it doesn't even bother me that much. So, it's, I mean, it is a little struggle, but it's not a big deal. So, uh, yeah, uh, life is good. Thank you all for your prayers. Thank you for your love and encouragement and, you know, all the good vibes and prayers and all that stuff. You know, I want to thank God. Just thank God that he's given me a, a peace and a comfort about whatever may happen, I'm good with. Love you guys.